Welcome, guys. This is Miss Messages. Let's go. Laptop. Work stuff. Uh, what even is in the full dimensional shame? Ah, I need to get to work. There's a bar. Get focus. Wait, wait, what's this? Uh, wants to send you a note? What's this? Should I accept? Accept or decline? Ah, I'll come back to it later. Can we? Plants in the room proven health benefits. They raise the air humidity, reduce toxic elements, and improve productivity. Mm, no, I'm not making excuses for my plant collecting habits. Front door, doors outside. Ooh. Back room, take a leak. Do you want to go and do, then go back? My door, she used to keep it open, now it's usually closed. Huh, alright. Fine, let's get on with this. Yep. Huh. So cute. Go back to work, send me back. Send no back. Oh, send a meme back. I wonder if she'll respond. You know if it's a she? Oh, can I? Just like. What's this? Can I uh, watch this? Not sure. You're welcome. So, Pastel Princess Mac Pro. What are you up to? Oh, that's her name? Okay. Uh, working, but can't focus. Existential crisis. That's a little. <clears throat> it's a little over the top, but why not? What do you got? Sure. Ah, Billy. I hope I'm not distracting you both or bothering you. Um, uh, if you ever want to have crisis together, I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeups. Yeah, let's see the makeup. Thank you. You're so sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. Oh, what's this? And... Oh, it's dull. Makeup's not that bad. Tell me I'm a beautiful mother. And... Yep, highly skilled. What What do these mean? Is the music still coming back? Nope, stop that. Uh, sure. So it's a wee bear bear meme? You seem cool. We should uh, totally hang out sometime. Yeah, sure. Yeah, swing by my room. Room tour six sometime in the tank. That could be a bad thing. I sleep now. Good night. Hell yes. I see you later. Oh, it's been seven hours since we started talking. Huh. Okay, work stuff. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Can I can I close this stuff? Nope. Just uh, throw it in the corner. To goth girl GF. Wait, this is goth GF. Goth GF's iPhone. Huh. Okay. Uh, what's this? Um, that's a lot of things we should probably not be having on the screen. All right. Can we like? Oh, later that night, I went out to meet goth GF. Before I left my room, I opened her door. Is my roommate? You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay. Bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. Wait, it was my birthday? <laughs> She remembered while well, I did not. <laughs> no one else remembered. I didn't even re remember. <laughs> See, look at that, the facts. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday she sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No. Thank you for being my friend. What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for people I care about? Um, well, I did want to warn you guys there is self-harm in this, so I'm going to prevent any course of that. So I believe she might be in a deep state of mind, so I'm going to try and find and stop that. In the case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend, too. Huh. She looks like she's been crying. Haha, <laughs> see you later. Goodbye. That didn't felt like feel like a good goodbye. I meet up with Golf GF. She told me her name, Amy. We laid her on a blanket on the roof and stared to the study. Although we planned on working, we ended up getting lost in conversations. Let time pass. Sky, my aunts. Let time pass. Two hours? Damn. Okay, time flew in a blink of an eye. I fell. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head back. This was fun. 
Fetch me or airdrop me. Aha, later, okay. And we're gone. Now, well, 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 we're gone now. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I'll check my phone. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared. Hey, sweetie, how was your day? Um, we need to go to the roommate. When I came back, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love, May. I'm going in. The door felt heavier than usual as I opened the door. Yeah. I saw the body hanging. The smell. The sight. There was no blood. But I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene myself. Uh, the police that eventually came and submitted the bot feeling and heard myself scream endlessly. I don't want to look. Can we leave? No. I said I would prevent this. You see, my disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the serial circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike. Oh. Did you hear what happened? No. Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. Probably don't know her, man. No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile. Her little laugh. The way she'd be kind in small ways. Couldn't forget her. When new people come into light in my life, I search for her search for her and them, I couldn't help it. I hope she was still there. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Oh. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore remembered. As I listened to her and my disembodied self crashed, down to the reality. The pain hit. It's time without the anesthesia of shock. This was this was real. She was dead. And we were putting her on the ground. The end missed. No one saw it coming, but I have. Was there a message I missed? Okay, uh I'ma try again. Cause you have the possibility of changing the course of the outcome, so Let's uh, go with it. Okay, let's try again. We have missed messages. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. I didn't see this earlier. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content at Miss the fuller. Dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice. Lost in the blizzard. Don't go. Please, don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd missed my chance. 109. So that's what I missed? Oh, like, wake up cold sweat. Fearful, but not sure why. What's that about? Never mind that. I should start working. No. Okay, the best thing to do. Ah, I need to do work. Dream, can't focus. Decline. Just check. This decline. Now I'm only going to go. But I, I don't want to work. Is there a way to. Uh... Mm. It's been 30 minutes. So we've basically got till 10 o'clock. I think the best thing we do is just don't leave. Uh, weird noises. What's this? Go away. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Although my Chinese is bad, I can still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Dalina! When? Oh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna even try. I'm gonna ruin this. Sorry if I even. Too lazy? Why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes falls from a soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. 
I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. No! I need to listen. I wonder if I check, I'll check up on her. May! I hesitated, but not. For some reason, I feared what my fi I find. Hello? May! Don't do anything stupid now. Shit, what should I say? Looking for a sock? Hang on. Oh, I don't know what the best thing to do. Like on the one hand, where if she's already too far gone and she might just do anything. The best way to make it feel better is just to you know, stick with her to the end of the climb. But then if I ask her questions and she doesn't want to talk about it, this looking for the sock is just not gonna happen. Um, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Ah, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me? In case you don't want to be alone? I'd like that. But I have work to do. Uh, take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Aw, oh, could use a break too, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on the bed looking out. The sun setting. Oh, um, stuffy? Life? Sky? I, I, I want to keep it away from life. Oh, fine. We up to these days. I feel like we haven't gotten, haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot, and also not much. Ah, uh, a lot? Uh, sorry, I haven't stayed up updated. Haha, <laughs> stay updated? Like I'm your favorite TV show? Don't worry about it. I just feel like I don't make you enough time for you. It's okay. You're not obligated to. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I kind of forgot. You remembered. Of course I did. Happy birthday to so she sings once again. She sang me a happy birthday. Ah, oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had dreams down. So how have you been? Fine, just tired. It's a lie! We gotta save her somehow. Big mood, how? So, I don't know. Like a bone deep tiredness, day after day. She says, what do you mean? Dream and just uh, ah, All these possibilities. Uh, asking you to forward, just be, just what do you mean? Like, every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like, and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a world, a whole world out there and feel the struggle of being stuck inside of all of it. Hmm, inside all day, okay. Hmm, understand, things you enjoy. I would say I understand, but there's a chance I don't. Hmm, I think I can understand that. You can? I mean, I feel like that when I absolutely must do something I don't like. Math, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely not alone. I feel like a lot of people do things because they are supposed to, not because it makes them happy. It's more that doing things that makes you happy, though. I need purpose. I don't want to feel like my life has a no direction, I guess. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it right now. But I don't know what I want to do. Just constant. I'll be help you. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you, and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Mm. No, I can't let the time just pass. I don't know why this dream keeps on. I had a weird dream. Oh? oh, yeah, the dream we had. Oh, what was that? It was about you, actually. It, uh, it was kind of haunting. Oh, my goodness. I, I need to hear this. 
You were in a snowstorm, and I called for you, but you didn't hear me, and I lost you. Huh? What do you mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, man. It's just a dream. Yeah, if you're still being scared by, uh, by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, bedtime stories. I, I can't I can't let the time pass if, if it gets too late and I haven't put an image in her mind to want to stay or maybe have feelings for me to stay and uh, she's gonna go through with the act anyway but now she's just be happier at the end of the day oh, fuck. okay what are the dreams like oh disturbing sometimes always dies like most recent one, it fe it featured you actually, huh? In a good way or bad way? I just read it backwards. In good. Go on. <laughs> there was a, a massive epidemic. <coughs> it was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected. I was gonna, gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Is this something to do with, like COVID or something? But COVID's long like out in the bones or something now. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, that's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Yeah, Dream, you really saved me. Did we mention the parents? Stare outside and let time pass is basically two things that let time pass. I don't, can't let time waste. Oh yeah, what was this, what were those noises about? Hmm? Early in your room. Ah, my mom called. Sorry, did it bother you? No, she sounded, uh, really angry, though. Yeah, um, she and I... Is everything okay? With you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick and angry. Yeah, I can be like that sometimes. Wanna talk? Talk about what? What she makes you feel that way? Uh... You sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Well, yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything. So my parents never pushed me to work hard at, every, at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put an effort. The only thing I would put an effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they called me writing. Writing... What? Writers weren't engineers or doctors? Bro, this stereotype we need to be engineers or doctors to make monies is like the worst thing. You see people who are bloody YouTubers making like millions out here. And that's a whole nother course of thing. And writers, you know the funny thing? One book. One good story, if it gets sold a million copies, even if it's one, you don't have to make another one. You're loaded. If that's the reason why they need you to have monies, bloody hell, get them off my case. Writing would never make money. Ah. Now, my life is slowly falling apart. Instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. <sighs> wow. Thank you for telling me this. That's... Oh, um, it's fucked. Thanks for listening. Ah, uh, the writing could tell us they're depressed. Let's go. What did you write about before your parents made you stop? Oh my goodness. It's embarrassing. You could tell me. Okay. You won't laugh? I promise. I won't. Harry Potter fan fiction? Disappointment! Where's the money coming from now? Haha, <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry, I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed, that's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Ah, if you say so. I do say so. Write more? Why not do that more often then? Everyone likes writing though. Anything creative, art, music, writing, it doesn't count. It's not true. There's plenty of successful writers out there, but I'm not them. I'd never be able to make a living out of it. My parents 
who get so angry? Poor but happy. Would you rather live the way you're currently living, or live poor but happy? Besides, who says you're not good enough to make it profitable? I don't know. And your parents will be dead in a couple decades, anyways. Ah! Ah! What? Oh my god. Oh. Furries? My parents, you talk? Those are my parents. What are you talking about? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that was dickish of me. But you know what I mean. Oh no, I, I may have screwed things up. Stay outside. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Uh -huh. Really? Wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's a satisfying short sort of mon monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open, with, with tea and a book is a good shit. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go go to sleep, and do it all over again. <sighs> yep, I can definitely relate. You wake up, get your food, go to work, slave away for a couple of good 10, 12, however many hours you do, come home, your hours are almost gone, and you barely got anything left, go to sleep. You gotta wake up and repeat the whole process. It just it sucks. Nobody likes that. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe. I took uh, anti antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. It sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Ah, ah, scratch. Uh, don't take my advice. Actually, I know nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. Me neither. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. I can't, I can't say I'm understandable. I'm suicidal. Um. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do though. I imagine how it go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care that I was gone. Not just about how I went. I... Ah, no! These are all questions that are, like, bad. Because I don't understand her scenario. I'm feeling life is, like, the peaceful we're starting over here. And that's what my character feel. But she is, like, exactly how I feel. Wake up, life sucks. Go back to sleep. Wake up, life sucks. Go back to sleep. Um, I understand. No, I can understand. You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might kick me out of school. It's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. I felt that. I know where you're coming from. I think. Hmm? You do? Then I wouldn't have anything. After life, there's nothing. For me, if this is the only show I get, then why step out early when pain always caring? Hmm. I feel like... When you've reached the point of seriously considering suicide and not just fantasizing about it, you don't really give a shit about anything other than death. That could just be me, though. Um, I may have made a mistake. We talk more about everything and nothing, from TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, even evening drawn. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah. Good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay! Thanks for listening to me. Really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking to, with May one bit. Oh? 
I wonder where she is. No. I, I don't, I don't wanna. Oh no. I opened the door to my roommate. May? She didn't seem to hear me. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Hi. Are you really okay? Don't look so. I need to go. No. Wait. Don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something yet didn't want to break the silence. Damn it. I thought I did the best I could. After I pa a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh, guess I'm, I'm not okay. I just say, I'm, I'm gonna, because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want anyone to bother anyone, especially you. So kind. I made soothing emotions on her back. Wait. Thanks for being there. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. And I needed to push myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I, I really don't. Hey. Yes you do. You're a good person. Of course you deserve my kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been months since that day. Yes! I've saved her so far. Man, have I gotten closer? I'd even consider her best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every dependent therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Uh, me? What for? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. I think that's what it is. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before, but because I was sad. But I appreciate you, really. Aw, uh, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be kind. Oh my goodness. No, you too. No, you. Uno reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable never ending. I, weak, I, I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice was lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. The end. Hope. It's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. By Angela He, Inspired by real life, Evan and June. June Lee? Uh, Junji? Yeah, don't. That was missed messages. That was a much more emotional second ending for the game. I hope you guys all enjoyed. That was missed messages. So like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.